when I meet people sitting on an airplane or out at a social gathering and they inevitably ask, what do you do for a living? I tell them, I make YouTube videos. Now this generally piques their interest and leads to the inevitable next question, which is, how do you actually make money on YouTube? Now at this point, the floodgates are open. I love this question and I just jump in telling them all the different ways you can make a living on YouTube, but I dial it down to the four main ways and I usually give them more information than they wanna know, but I'm assuming since you're here, you might be at the beginning of your online business journey and maybe you're looking at YouTube as a method for growing your business or making some extra income and you're wondering how does it actually work? Well, as someone who's been making a living on YouTube for over nine years, I'm gonna break down again the four most popular ways or realistic ways to make money on YouTube and then specifically I'll share with you the two that I have built my business on. Full disclaimer, Everybody uses YouTube differently. There's no real right or wrong way to do it, but I'm just gonna pull the curtain back and explain it to you really clearly and really quickly so you know exactly what's possible and then you can make the best decision for yourself. The absolute simplest way to make money on YouTube is to run ads. And when I say run ads, you basically click the monetize button on your YouTube channel. So when you start a YouTube channel, you can't monetize right away. You have to put out videos, you have to build an audience, you have to get a certain number of views and subscribers, and that has changed what the parameters are over time. They've made it harder. If you're putting out consistent videos every single week or multiple times a week, and they're relevant, helpful videos or funny videos or videos people enjoy, very soon you'll hit that mark where YouTube sends you an email and says, hey, you are now eligible to be a YouTube partner and to monetize your channel. All that means is you can flip a switch. And when you flip that switch, it will put ads on your video. Now these ads might be a trailer or a commercial at the beginning of your video, where you've seen these, right? Where you have to wait five seconds so you can skip the ad. Or sometimes you can't skip the ad and you have to watch all 30 seconds. Sometimes these ads are little banners that float over the bottom third of the video and you can X out of them. Sometimes these ads are placed in the middle of a video. Have you ever watched a video on YouTube and in the middle of the guy saying, and then I just, and it like cuts out and then there's a stupid commercial. That's a way to monetize the video. And in essence, this is how YouTube makes their living. They have a platform that they want you and I to upload hours and hours and hours of hopefully relevant or maybe stupid videos, whatever gets eyeballs. And they let us do that for free and they give away all this content for free and they connect content creators with viewers for free so that they have a pool of eyeballs with which to sell ad space to businesses, which is just like TV or radio, right? That's how TV is free, is you have to watch the commercials. So they get paid by all kinds of companies, big companies, small companies, companies that aren't making any money, political campaigns, whoever wants to give YouTube money will give them money because then they know their ads will be out there on your videos. And then what YouTube tries to do is match the advertiser with a relevant YouTube video or channel so that the ad is more effective, right, for that audience. YouTube then takes a big cut of that ad revenue as they should, it's their platform, and then they give us, the YouTube content creators, a cut for every ad that's shown clicked on, et cetera. So the formula for how much you make off of ads is very dependent on how many views you're getting, how many ads you choose to place on your video. For example, you may not want any ads at the beginning. You may just want a little banner ad, but you'll probably make less money in ad revenue. Or you may wanna have as much ad revenue as possible so you have a video at the beginning, banner ads at the lower third, and commercials throughout your video halfway through, 10 minutes in, whatever. Every time you break up the user experience to show an ad, you have a higher chance of making ad revenue. Now again, we're talking fractions of a penny here per ad viewed and you need a lot of views to add up to substantial money. So that helps you if you are a YouTube channel that gets a ton of views and has a ton of subscribers and just is massive, then if you flip the monetization switch, you can make a pretty good living on YouTube. Now, my main YouTube channel at the Recording Revolution has about a half a million subscribers, 
has a ton of views, is really big in that niche. It's not as big as some of the video gamers or fashion bloggers or makeup artists or just the entertainers and singers and, and bands out there, but it's pretty big. And I flipped the switch and I have basic ads running. I don't have my my videos chopped up with ads in the middle, but I'll have ads at the beginning and sometimes the lower thirds will pop up at the bottom and I can make a decent amount of money off of those ads. It's not enough to pay all of my bills and it certainly wasn't enough to pay my bills when I got started with monetization maybe six or seven years ago because I never actually flipped the switch at first, but it's certainly nothing to scoff at at my level now. Again, ads is probably the easiest way to make revenue, but it's gonna be the lowest amount of revenue and it's not really gonna pay your bills until you're doing hundreds of thousands of views. Related to that, and way number two to make money on YouTube is with sponsored videos, okay? This used to happen a little more secretively where you would have big influencers, that's the term now. YouTubers who have a massive audience, who have a lot of sway and influence, and so brands would sneakily say, hey, Graham, let's say, I wanna pay you $20,000 to drink a Coke or, or to wear these shoes or to stay at this hotel and just put a video out of there and just sort of casually have the product placed in your video because we know you'll get lots of views and people will be influenced by what you're using or where you're at and then that will create sales. It's very sneaky, but very clever. Um, what has changed over the years is that YouTube, and rightfully so, wants everything to be transparent. So if you're sponsored, if you're paid to talk about a product or to have a product in your video, you're supposed to make that clear. The rules are always in flux, so you have to look up the sponsored rules, but you usually have to have a tag saying that it's sponsored, you usually have to say that somewhere in the video or the description, or you even have to say it in the video, or at the end of the video, say that this was a sponsored video. And that just helps with transparency so that they know, your viewers know, full disclosure, you're getting paid to mention this product. Now, where you stand on that is completely up to you because a lot of viewers are completely fine with that. A lot of fans are like, I don't care if you're paid to talk about this product, I still respect you anyway. And a lot of advertisers are realizing it's still okay if viewers know that this influencer on YouTube was paid to mention this product because at least it's getting the product out in front of people. Now this is a great way to make more money because if you, again, you have a big following, you can get big old checks in the tens of thousands of dollars, maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars just to mention a product in a video. That's a faster way to make big money on YouTube but it's actually not that fast because you have to have a massive following and that's not easy, that takes time. So again, you need a ton of eyeballs. And then the other side of this is you may not feel comfortable sponsoring products and having sponsors and being paid to pitch products. For example, on the Recording Revolution, I have a ton of connections in the audio industry with gear manufacturers who make microphones, speakers, software, whatever. And they would love for me to talk about their products on my YouTube channel. Many of them have offered to pay me, to sponsor me to talk about their products. And I understand why they're trying to get the word out in different unique channels. Long time ago, after I started to do some ads on my actual website, like banner ads, I moved away from that after a couple of years and said, I don't wanna be sponsored by anybody. I wanna be able to mention any product I want whenever I want and be completely unbiased. Meaning I genuinely use this product, genuinely like it, and me telling you it doesn't make me any money. So you can learn about the product and buy it or not buy it, it doesn't make any difference to me. So that is a stance I've taken. So I don't leverage that sponsorship opportunity. So I'm saying no to some money, but as you'll find out, there are two, I think, better ways to make money on YouTube than sponsors. Way number three to make money on YouTube is to use a platform called Patreon. Patreon is a brilliant platform to help support content creators. Okay, it's like Kickstarter or Indiegogo, crowdfunding basically, but instead of for a one-time project with a finite amount of money, it is an ongoing monthly support thing. So you can have your super fans pay you a dollar every month or a dollar every video or $4 a month or $4 a video or $10 a month or $10 a video, however you like to do it, different levels, 
just to support you to be a patron, hence the word Patreon. This is how artists and musicians were paid back in the day. Kings and queens and stately people would be a patron of a composer or an artist, and they would just financially support these people to then allow them to be free to create beautiful art. And that's a nice way to make a living if you're an artist or a content creator. I have friends who use Patreon to pay their bills entirely, living a good, comfortable life, making six figures just off of their patrons alone, and that allows them to make videos, a lot of them entertainment-based, where there's no real chance to make a lot of money off of them. There's no sponsors. It's just them making funny videos or musical videos or whatever, and then they can have predictable revenue. So with Patreon, you basically make the case for why they should support your videos or your content wherever you're making the content. And at the end of your videos or the beginning of your videos, you can say, hey, look, if you wanna support this channel, go to Patreon and support me and support me with a dollar a month or $5 a month and there's different levels and you'll get different bonuses depending on what you support. And you'd be surprised how many people are happy to throw you some dollars every single month just to allow you to keep making the videos that you make because they love the videos. So Patreon is a great realistic way, especially if you still have a small audience to make some bankable, dependable revenue month in and month out. Plus, Patreon was started by some super talented musicians and content creators in their own right, and so they understand the world of content creation, making videos, being on YouTube, and they are artists who wanna create a platform to support other artists. And honestly, as a business owner, you are an artist. You are creating something to make a difference in the world, and with Patreon and YouTube, it can actually work. Fourth and final way to make money on YouTube, and this is the primary way I make money on YouTube, is to sell digital products. But the secret is you don't sell on YouTube. Now, people don't come to YouTube to buy stuff, okay? They come to YouTube to consume content. It could be something funny, it could be something entertaining, it could be news, or it could be education-based, which is a huge part of YouTube. Have you ever got on YouTube to figure out how to fix your car or fix your leaky toilet? or install a certain doorknob or light switch. Yeah, that's YouTube. And that's how people find me in the audio space. They wanna learn how to record their music or what gear to buy or how to make their vocals sound like Taylor Swift. And they come and they go on YouTube and they type stuff in and then they find my videos. And what do they want? They don't wanna buy anything. They wanna be taught. They want answers to their questions. And so I create content. And at the end of that content, I say, look, if this was helpful to you, I've got something additional for free that you will love, and that's my lead magnet. We've talked about lead magnets before. I get them to download it for free. I'm adding more value there. That opts them onto my email list where I have an opportunity there outside of YouTube where they've now been qualified a little bit as a lead because they've said, I've watched your videos. I've typed in my email address for more free, amazing content, so now they're probably really interested in what I have to offer then I can offer my digital products, online courses, membership sites, coaching, things like that, that they have the opportunity to buy. Now that funnel gets smaller and smaller. You're like you got all of YouTube that finds your videos and then a smaller amount download your additional free stuff and give you their email address and an even smaller amount buy your products that you offer, but it doesn't matter. You have enough and you can charge a premium price for your digital products much more than just getting a couple bucks here or there from an ad or from a patron, you can now offer them an amazing product that they'll pay a lot for because they're not just supporting you, they're getting more value in exchange. This is where the bulk of my income comes. And when I tell this to people on an airplane or at a party, they're really confused. They're like, how does that work? And they just don't know the numbers or the math of it. And the math is pretty compelling. You don't have to sell that many courses or products or membership sites to make a good living online. So I use YouTube primarily to find new customers for my digital products. I also run ads on my videos and that's a good chunk of revenue, but it's not anywhere near a big percentage of my total business revenue, which is from selling directly to the people that are on my email list. So there you have it, the four main ways to make money on YouTube. Run ads, hit that monetization switch, get sponsored. So you're getting bigger paydays from specific companies to mention products or show products or go to a certain hotel or travel on a certain airplane, things like that. Patreon, get your super fans to support you monthly with a dollar or more a month or video to just continue to allow you to do what you do. And it's a wonderful mutual exchange and it's very dependable. 
or four, sell your own digital products by creating a funnel and an email list and a whole back end of amazing high quality online courses, membership sites, coaching, things like that, that add a ton of value and take your YouTube experience to the next level for the select group of people who wanna go super deep with you. That's where I think the most money is made is in selling digital products through YouTube, but it's not where most people go, but it's where I love to live. It's where I've made a great living on two different brands now, and it's the method I teach you here because it's the fastest way to make a good living online, and it's the way to do it with complete control without needing to be sponsored by other people and to do it your own way, to do it in a way where you're actually being forced to add even more value. So I'm a little biased to selling digital products because I see the virtuous cycle of how good it is for everybody involved. Now, speaking of YouTube and making money, I actually challenged myself a while back to put together a four week plan for making money online if you've never made money before. I thought if I didn't have an audience and I just wanted to figure out could I do an online business, could I use the online tools, YouTubes, Facebooks, things like that to actually find an audience and figure out what to sell and create something and make money, could I do that in 30 days? And what I did is I took everything that I know about online business, every tool that's currently helpful, and I mapped it out into a four week step-by-step -step guide that I call my 30 day no hustle business plan. And inside this guide, I teach you how to use tools like Facebook Live and YouTube Live to actually build an audience from scratch, figure out what they want, give it to them, and actually make money in 30 days. Now, will it allow you to quit your day job in 30 days? No, but you can make money in 30 days with zero audience right now if you follow this four-week step-by-step plan. It's really, really tightly integrated. It's so simple. It's not easy. It takes a little bit of work, but not a ton of work. And you can do this in your spare time. If you have about 30 minutes a day, you can work on this plan and make some money in 30 days. I wanna give it to you because I think it will truly help you. And if I had to start over today, this is exactly what I would do. It's absolutely free. Just go to the link here in the description below or go to grahamcochran.com slash 30 days. Thanks for watching, my friend. Thanks for subscribing. Good luck making money on YouTube. I'm pumped to hear your YouTube success story. See you in another video real soon.